Hi guys and welcome to TickBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25193. This is yet again a smaller build from Microsoft that doesn't include any new interesting or exciting new features, but we have a few changes and a few fixes, which we're going to talk about in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, where we talk about new Windows 11 Insider Preview builds and stuff like that, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBased channel with the notification bell active so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is introducing the Xbox subscription management in settings for some insiders. This was the thing a few builds ago and they started rolling it out for a few insiders and now they are slowly rolling it out to more and more insiders. More changes regarding the narrator. We have support for new braille displays in narrator and a whole bunch of things changed in settings regarding the narrator. For more info about this, please make sure to check out the article below in this video's description. Regarding changes and improvements, as a result of feedback from Windows Insiders, Microsoft disabled the ability to share a local file directly to OneDrive using the built-in Windows share window that first began rolling out to Windows Insiders in the dev channel with Bell 25163. Microsoft hopes to bring this feature back in the future after further refinement of the experience. So in this build, we can say that we have more features removed than new features introduced as a joke, but we can continue on talking about some fixes that we can encounter in this build. First of all, some general fixes. Microsoft fixed an issue causing enabling .NET Framework 3.5 from the Windows Features dialog to not work in the previous build. Regarding the taskbar, Microsoft made a fix so the taskbar overflow will now use the same accent color as your taskbar. They fixed a couple of issues which were leading to sporadic Explorer EXE crashes related to the taskbar overflow. They fixed an issue related to the widgets entry in the taskbar which was causing taskbar icons to appear to drift around sometimes in the previous flight. They also fixed an issue for insiders with at least two monitors where if the monitors had different DPIs, the taskbar overflow could appear before it was needed or end up overlapped with the date and time on the secondary monitor. And also they fixed an issue where the taskbar overflow flyout might appear floating away from the taskbar if you opened it after a display scaling change. Fixes regarding the start menu, they fixed an issue that was causing unexpected characters to show instead of an apostrophe in the tool tip for the sleep option in the power menu and they also fixed an issue which could lead to start menu crashing on launch for some people when search highlights was enabled. We also have a whole bunch of fixes regarding the file explorer so if the taskbar is set to auto hide and file explorer is maximized hovering your mouse on the bottom of the screen to invoke the taskbar should work now. They fixed an issue when dragging and dropping a folder to pin it to the navigation pane that the line indicating where it would be in certain didn't have enough contrast in the dark mode. Microsoft also fixed an issue where the search box background in File Explorer might be the opposite color of your current mode, for example, dark in light mode or light in the dark mode as I've encountered it. They also fixed an issue where File Explorer would appear to open, close and reopen before it finished drawing after being launched from certain places, for example, when opening the location of a downloaded file from Microsoft Edge. They fixed an issue where certain files couldn't be unpinned from the favorite section of home after you'd pinned them. They made another fix to help address UI issues when switching between dark and light mode if the File Explorer window was open when you switch. They fixed a GDI objects leak when resizing the navigation pane in File Explorer which could potentially lead to content in File Explorer not rendering correctly over time for insiders who resized the navigation pane frequently. They also made some improvements to help the performance of loading home when using a cloud storage provider like OneDrive to back up your files in File Explorer. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue causing the storage page in settings as well as disk cleanup to crash in the scan phase for some people. They fixed an issue where you are eyes to open pages under the account section of settings weren't working for some people. Settings would open but not navigate to the correct page. This impacted the link to open sign-in options in the start menu. They also fixed an issue leading to app icons not displaying correctly under privacy and security and voice activation. And they also fixed a settings crash when uninstalling apps using apps and installed apps in the settings app. A few other fixes, for example, they fixed an issue in recent flights causing the lines to not be included when printing tables from certain apps. And they also also fixed an issue in recent flights which could lead to hangs in certain apps. For the list of known issues and more info about this build, you can always check out the article below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. That was Emmanuel from TickBase, until next time, have a nice day.